Hi, it's Karen Patterson, and I am bringing you a little project, um, a little accordion book. Ta-da! Now, the project came from this bigger accordion book that I did a long time ago. Not, I don't know how long ago, actually. It was a couple years, maybe. But I took a an old book removed all the pages out of it, and then created an accordion on each side. One side saying my art is my story, the other side saying my story is my art. So there's two accordions. I know it's hard to show you with this. one on each side. This little book that I was going to show you how to do today um, has one accordion. Wow. This was a while ago. Um, you can do this way with the two accordions. That's fine. Or, oops, I think I went, I need to go this way. All right, this one has one longer piece of paper for your accordion. And you really don't need a whole lot to start with. You can start with a piece of plain computer paper. You can start with some sketchbook paper, whatever kind of paper you have lying about. And if you want it to be mini and have your accordion uh, a little longer, fold your paper in half, and then cut through the middle. Now you can either use a paper cutter if you have one, or just go with some scissors. It just takes a little more patience and maybe some, my reading glasses would be a good idea, I'm sure. All right. Now what I'm going to do for folding is simply to start folding in half and in half. Fold in half once, fold in half twice, and that's how big my book's going to be. I'll do it again for this side, fold in half once, fold in half twice, and we'll worry about which way the zigzag goes in a little bit. Not quite yet. You also need some scrap cardboard. For this, I used um, part of a Nilla wafer box. So here's the other part of the Nilla wafer box for this book. All I did was measure and cut, found some scrapbook paper, or another piece of computer paper will do, to cover the outside. So with your cardboard. I almost forgot my own vocabulary there. All I'm going to do is trace around my book page. And then I'll use these two lines, the fold lines, as my other two lines. That way I can cut my front cover and my back cover. So there's one, Ooh, it's a little big, we'll see how it goes. Ha -ha. And then I can trace this very same piece of cardboard for my second cover, because I need one for the front and one for the back, whichever way it goes. And since I cut kind of wonky, I really ought to use all of my lines. I 
again, those reading glasses really would be a good idea for me right now. Well, that wasn't a straight line. Oh well. It's part of the thing about things being handmade is that they're not perfect, right? The family in my room is going to remind me of that the next time I have a fit about one of my projects, I'm sure. Anyway, there's my covers. There's my insides. Now I'm going to get some scrapbook paper or again, some, uh, let's see, magazine paper. You can use other computer paper, whatever you want in order to cover up. Or if you really like the cover the way it is, that's fine too. So I'll take my piece of cardboard and trace. Again, you can use scissors for this. Some people prefer to use a rotary cutter, a little blade wheel. Will that cut better? Ooh, worried about that one. We'll figure it out. All right, now one more piece. One more. All right. Now, what on earth can you put inside your little book? Well, pretty much anything. It can become part of a gift, a greeting card tag, you know, or gift tag. I can't talk. All right. Since I want to cover up the label part of my book, I'm going to put the glue on that side. Glue stick works, double-sided tape, fancy tape roller, whatever adhesive you have. If you're using white glue, you will want to spread it out very thinly with your finger. Otherwise, you're going to end up with those wrinkles on your paper. Wow, this is crooked. Handmade, right? Right. There we go. A little trim there. And now I can do the other side. Oh. Some glue. All right, so now I have my covers. I'll do a little more trimming on them later. That's the part you didn't see when I made my first book. Now we need to go do the zigzag fold. So this one goes in, this one should go out. And this one is gonna go back in so that it is a zigzag. I'll do it again on the other one. All right. If this time right here it goes in, this time right here it should go out. And this one, oof, gonna have to go backwards again. Now I have my zigzags. Now I can leave them and have them ooh, short, or I can glue them both together like I did my other one. So I can have it be a little bit longer. Depends how many pages you want your accordion book to be. Here comes a cat. Look out. <laughs> she 
She has to make a cameo in like every video. And I'm not sure why. Anyway, so now I have to check my zigzag since I changed things. So back and forth and back and forth. Oh, I do have to go change it. That's okay. So there's my accordion folded piece. And here comes the cat again. Oh, nope. She decided not to. Now I can fold, I mean, now I can glue each end of my accordion. Ta da! To its cover. And then I need my other side. Not being shy with the glue here. All right. Now we need that lid. I'm always telling my students, put the lid on your glue, put the lid on your glue. Now I can go back and trim off a little bit to smooth things out if I want to so I don't see any of that box out here. In here, it's not that big of a deal. Let's see how far that sticks out. It doesn't really stick out too bad. But if I super want to, I'm going to see if I can do this without messing it up totally. Yep, got to do the other side. There we go. And now I have my accordion book. It's all ready for whatever it is you want to put inside. This one, I worked on one side of the pages. I haven't done anything with the other side yet. But on this side, all I did was color a rainbow a little paw print that I had saved from when the cat walked through the paint. Some pictures that I printed out and scraps and bits and things like that. Just for fun. I hope you enjoyed your accordion book and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.